Welcome! In this session, we will learn to elaborate conditional inferencing decision trees with the function C3. Before learning to elaborate decision trees using the C3 function, it is important to acknowledge that there are two main families of classification and regression tree methods. On the one hand, the conditional inferencing trees that we will construct using the C3 function, and on the other hand, the recursive partition and decision trees that we will build using the art part function. Both methods decide on binary splits at each node, but the former does so based on a statistical theory or significance test, while the latter is purely based on the maximization of fit or the Gini coefficient that we already uh, learned. C3 is generally slower, but has a potential to avoid some of the biases in our part. Either method can effectively deal with missing values, but to ensure an apple-to-apple -apple comparison, we will run each of them after pre-processing data as we discussed before. Let's go to our studio! So we are here in R, and the first thing that we are going to do is to install the party kit package that contains the C3 function. So we will uh, uh, write install.packages party kit. I have already installed this package, so I'm not going to press enter. But if you haven't installed it, you have to install it. I'm going to put the package, the party kit package on my library. So I'm going to write library party kit. I press enter. And now I have the party kit package in my library and I can use the C3 function. Now let's make a tree with retain in 2020 as independent variable and all the other variables as predictors. We're going to create the, um, the tree, or first tree, we will call it tree.c3, which equals to the function c3 of the parikit package, as you can see here, and we need two parameters. The first one will be the formula of the, of the tree and the uh, dependent variable the the variable that we want to predict is retained in 2020 so we write training which is the name of the data set uh, the dollar sign or the dollar symbol and the name of the uh, the variable that we want to predict that is retained in 2020 equals and we are not going to write equal, but the, the sign, this character that we are going to get with ALT plus 126, as you can see here in the script. You press, you hold ALT plus 126 and you get this uh, character, which uh, signifies like an equal in the formula. And we are not going to write all the independent variables. We are just going to write one period or one dot, as you can see here. And with this period, we are telling R, please select as independent variables all the variables that are not, or, or sorry, please select as independent variable all the variables that are not retained in 2020, which is the one that we want to predict. Comma, and the second parameter will be the name of the data set. In this case, will be training. We press enter and we will get an error and let's let's read the error error in do test and it says cannot search for unordered splits uh, that are higher than 31 levels so we have to look or train in data set for all the variables that have levels higher than 31 levels let's look we, we see here one with 28 we, we see here one with 54 levels. This one is the one that is uh, making problems. And in fact, there is no other one higher than 31 levels, as you can see. Six level, two levels, four levels, one level, two levels. So there is, the only one that is making some troubles for our model is a group state, which has 54 levels. So this is a limitation of the C3 function. We cannot include the group state uh, variable in our model. So we will have to write another uh, formula. Let's try again. We will write 3.c3 
equals C3 and the formula, the, the dependent variable, training, training and the dollar, of, the dollar symbol retained in 2020, alt 126 dot and to remove the variable that we don't want to include we have to write minus group state so we are telling R include all the variables less group state and the data is training and now let's see if it runs and you can see in the global environment that we have created a new tree which is named C, uh, tree C3. You can see that there are a lot of lists included in this uh, C3. And let's uh, plot the tree that we just built. So we are going to uh, write plot and the parameter will be tree dot C3, the tree that we just built. And we are going to adjust the font size, GP, equals gpar font size equals 7 I press enter and now you can see the the tree that we just built and we are going to comment this tree in the next session thanks for watching